Hey guys, good morning. So I know it's been a minute since I filmed my last video, but you know, we've just been busy, but I'm super excited today to give you a tour of our chicken coop. So sorry, I'm trying to find a good place with the lighting, but the sun is coming up. So we have adopted or become parents of three chickens um, and we built this chicken coop. Well, mostly my husband did, <laughs> I painted it. But um, anyways, I want to give you a tour of the chicken coop. I'm super excited and also introduce you to our new family members. We're very excited to have them. We've had them a week now, a little over a week, and we love them. They're super fun and they don't want to be held or anything. They're about a year and a half old, so they're not used to like us at all. Uh, it's a little I think it's a little different when you get chicks because you can raise them and like they can know you and you can hold them but I'm hoping they'll warm up we've been giving them lots of treats and trying to spend time out here uh, so that they get used to us and stuff so where it's located is uh, you can see our house is right here the back of our our house and then um it's kind of weird we have this like this fence that separates the like main yard from this back area and so our dog is only in that area she can't come out here even though this is totally secure uh, she never comes out here because this whole area is unfenced between different houses so we don't let her out here um, and anyways we haven't really acclimated her to the chickens yet um, but we plan to so if you have any advice on that I would love to hear it um, for now she just likes to sit there and watch them she doesn't really bark or anything at them so I didn't know how she would react but anyways if you have any tips on that but before you know, I'm trying to keep this video short, so I'll stop blabbing and just give you a quick tour of the chicken coop. This isn't going to be a tutorial of how to build it because I have no idea. I didn't do it, but I will like kind of explain how we, I guess I'll kind of explain like how we built it and how we made it predator proof and things like that. So I'll go ahead and show you. All right, so I'm putting Crocs on because we just have some shoes that we only wear in the chicken area. So we don't track like poop around and by the way this is not completely done so um we're still kind of working on it oh look oh my gosh look she's up on the water thing <laughs> I've never seen her do that before that's so funny but I'll go ahead and show you the coop and then I'll introduce you to the chickens as well so this area is not quite done yet um we bought this like prefabbed chicken run because we did some research on like building our own chicken run and it was gonna end up being like more expensive to buy all the wood and also we don't know if we're gonna move within the next year or so we probably are so we wanted something we could disassemble and reassemble and this just seemed like an easier option because I'll show you where it connects they're like you can't really see it but they're like you know those little press in slide it into the pipe and then it it connects so this is all you can take it all apart and redo it of course you have to cut all the zip ties which is kind of a pain but um the one thing about this chicken run that we didn't like um obviously this is chicken wire so this is not really predator proof so what we've done is we've added hard wire cloth which is a lot more sturdy um around the whole base so that's about two and a half feet high and then um, my husband added this because there was this really large gap here and um I don't think you know, a squirrel or something could fit. Maybe a squirrel could, but I don't think like a raccoon could, but I was worried about snakes. Um, and we still need to add some around here. And even here, it's kind of a big gap. Um, and I think the door shifted a little. So yeah, I don't like this big gap here. So I think we're gonna add some going out here as well. But um, at, like the chickens are only in here during the day and then they're in their coop at night. So it's totally safe. And we, we check on them like a lot right now. Um, and then he added this hard wire cloth all the way, almost all the way while he's working on it. <laughs> We're not quite done around the base so that an animal can't like dig it up. So I'll go ahead and get in the coop and show you what's going on. So this chicken run is nine feet by 13 feet. So they have quite a bit of space for three chickens. Um, we could have way more chickens in this space, but we want to give them as much space as possible. And eventually we want to let them free range in more of our yard. But we tried one day and they didn't really want to. They were kind of scared. They kind of wanted to stay in the coop. So we're just letting them chill out in here for now. And 
get used to it. So um, over here we have their food and the guy who we got these chickens from, he was moving out of state and he didn't want to take the chickens because it was like a really far drive and stuff. So um, he actually gave us these, this feeder. And it's really nice because they just stick their heads in there and eat and they seem to like it. And this water, that's Chase. <laughs> She's so funny. And then the water as well. Um, they just press this little knob here and it fills up with water like that and then they can drink it. And it's nice because you can put a lot of water in here. And um, sorry, it's kind of dirty, but I did wash it like the day we got it and it's already gotten dirty, but it holds a lot of water. And I like that you can actually see how much water is left. So I need to fill it up today. So that's their feeder and watering situation. And then this is the actual main coop that we built. So let me change the angle. There we go. Okay, so now you can see the whole thing. So this is the main coop that we built. They have this little ramp. Um, it took them a minute to figure out this ramp, but they seem to be okay with it. Um, I was worried it's a little too steep, but they've been getting up and down it just fine. And then the guy that we got the chickens from, he had this automatic coop door and we were already thinking about getting one. So we bought it from him for a pretty good price and it's super nice. It's you can do it light sensor, time, or automatic, or manual, so you would just set it up, but we have it on the light, and um, so it's like a number, not 5 p.m., but it's like the number of light, so it closes when the light is at 5, and let me show you, and right now it's at 100, so it's pretty dark when it closes, and then it automatically opens in the morning. So it did take us a minute to figure out how this whole thing worked, but now that we've got it set up, it's super nice. And I have still been coming out here every evening and every morning to make sure that it opened and closed properly. In the morning, I can just look out the window and make sure they're out. Um, so this coop, we had built it with the base kind of. Um, we tried to use as much reclaimed wood as possible, but that's actually a little harder. It's easier said than done to find wood that is usable for free or cheap um, because most of the time people have projects and it's like bits and bops and it's not really good wood to make a project with. But we did find something uh, secondhand. This is, uh, I got it for free. And then the base, um, this wood around the base, the frame and some, some other pieces are from a toddler bed that we had built for my son when he was a toddler. I mean, he's still a toddler, but he has a big bed now. So we disassembled that and used the wood for our chicken coop. So, you know, we tried, but a lot of it we did purchase, but we wanted something that would last us a long time. And we weren't really interested in like a prefab coop. A lot of them are really small and really expensive and they're not the best quality. So we really just wanted to build something and it's not perfect by any means. Um, my husband and his friend built it and there's definitely some areas where you know they're not it's not perfect but we're we're happy with how it turned out so the legs are on four by fours treated four by fours and then we place them on these um cement bricks so it doesn't sink down and it's level and then the roof is like a metal roof and we have this wire up here <laughs> because we need to finish some stuff um but it's a metal roof so it's keeping rain off it doesn't get wet in there at all it's rained several times since we've had this coop out here and we've checked it every time and no water has gotten in it which is like very important chickens should not be getting wet um they can get sick especially in their coop if it's wet they can get really sick and have respiratory problems so we wanted to make sure it's super waterproof and it is um these are the nesting boxes so you just lift up here it's a little got a little warped and there you go those are not real eggs <laughs> those are uh, ceramic eggs that I just put in there yesterday um, and then so we have four nesting boxes and I put way too much bedding in so it kind of spilled in but they have four nesting boxes for them to lay eggs in there if they feel like it and they were sorry I have to duck down because the the 
this is like low, so it's kind of hard to walk. Um, and let me show you the inside. But they did sleep in the nesting boxes the first night and that's kind of a no-no. So we blocked them off for like two nights and my husband actually, and I did too, we put them up on the roosting bar for like the first two nights maybe the second and third night actually because the first night they slept in the nesting boxes and we put them up on the roosting bar and ever since then they've slept up there so we're actually going to change the roosting bar out to a two by four because I heard that um they shouldn't have to bend their little claw things around because when it's cold um that can be bad for them and this isn't as stable as I want but we're going to change this so that's the roosting bar. I also don't like that it goes by the door. So we're actually going to change it and put it like out like this. So hopefully we'll get that done in the next few days. Um, but like I said, we're still changing things. And then they have four nesting boxes, which is obviously plenty. Um, we probably only really needed two, but it just made sense to have it the whole width of the coop. And they have like dividers and then there's like a little step up here um that this is all fresh so I'm not like touching poop or anything I just put this on here um they have a little step up into the nesting box to give it like extra privacy for them when they're laying eggs and this is the big door as well it's like so we will be able to clean it out easier um that way we can just pull the wheelbarrow here put the wheelbarrow here and scoop out all of the bedding whenever we need to clean it and this is also not perfect. I have to kind of slam it to get it shut. And then of course, that's super glassy. Um, <laughs> so that's the big door. And then they have their little door that they go in and out of. And then we've just put like hinges on it. I went with the black hinges. I don't know, I thought it looked nice. And I, I do like the color. Um, I wish it was, I wish I had sanded this. I was like asking my husband, should I sand it? He's like, no, it's fine. But I kind of wish I would have and made it look like really clean, but it's a chicken coop and I'm, I just told myself it's fine. Um, but I did like the color, how it turned out. And then my, my husband also added some air pockets the other day and he, he was gonna put the hardware cloth on the inside, but he couldn't get it to work properly. Um, so he put it on the outside, but I think when summertime comes, we're going to actually make this like a full window with hardwire cloth on it so that they have extra ventilation but i'm thinking in the winter it's fine um we haven't like we've been kind of checking up on them a lot especially in the evening um at night to make sure you know it feels like a good temperature in there and stuff and it has so um if you have any tips or suggestions if you don't think this is enough ventilation for them please let me know because we are like totally open to changing things we just went off what we read online and um some books about chickens and coops and things and what they need in their coops so um and we're totally open for suggestions changing things so just let us know but that's what we have for now um and yeah that's pretty much the coop the feeders the run yeah that's pretty much it let me go ahead and introduce you to our sweet little girls so this is Chase. They are also molting right now. If you see the, the feathers, like how they're kind of weird looking, um, they are molting right now. So yeah, that's why they look funny. But that's Chase. She is the boss baby and she's like the queen. So whenever you feed them or give them anything, she's like the first one there. She wants to be in charge. Um, and then let me get a little, let me see if they'll let me get closer. They're, they're kind of scared of me. <laughs> That little one right there, the little scared looking one, that is Chicoletta. She's like the baby. I mean, they're all the same age, but she's like the little scared one. She's super cute. Um, she's also really fast. And then this one with the brown head is Chicoletta. And you might not be able to tell very well on camera, but they do look pretty different. So it is easy to tell them apart. Like uh, Zuma has a very brown head and Chase is like pretty much all black, kind of a bluish hue. So those are our girls. My three-year-old named them. And if you know what show they're named from, you can comment down below if you have a toddler as well that watches that show. But yeah, that's they're named after some characters in a kid's show. But anyways, they're super cute and 
they they're really nice to like my son and stuff of course they're like slightly scared of everyone but um we're getting they're getting used to us i think and i wonder what they're looking at i wonder what she's looking at and they i hope they like their new home i hope they like all the space they have and we're just super excited to have them and yeah so those are our chickens all right so that's the chicken coop those are the chickens i hope you all enjoyed this tour if you have any questions about the coop or the chickens please let me know um and it's really cold outside it's like 40 degrees <laughs> we got our first freeze last night frost i guess um and so i'm freezing my hands are like turning red and purple so i'm gonna go ahead and go inside but i hope you all enjoyed this tour and i hope you enjoyed meeting our chickens we're super excited to have them and i'm excited to make some videos about chicken and chickens and chicken care and just my experience with having these sweet little animals at our house so anyways i hope you all had a good day and, and uh, i don't know what i'm saying i'm cold <laughs> okay see you guys later bye